The SAG After Strikes are, are finally over, so you can finally talk about this movie. Uh, I guess I want to open things up for you a little bit here and just ask you, what what is the biggest thing you wanted to talk about about Blue Beetle that you finally can say to us? Um, whoa. <laughs> What's the biggest thing? I mean, the biggest thing is that I got to give the flowers to Angel, the director. Like, yeah. shit, man, this was this was two years of his life. He was there every single day pre-production, every single day of production, every single day of post-production, did the whole press junket, did everything. So like the thing that I'm so excited is like he he handled it all. And, and um, you know, I'm so excited to for him to get his flowers. But really, it was it was such a blast. I, I love that a lot of people are getting to see Blue Beetle for the first time and meet, you know, him for the first time and to get to, you know, add a family behind that. I think that's something that is unexpected and that people haven't really seen a ton. And that was the one thing that I was excited to kind of get to chat about. Yeah, for sure. The family dynamic to me is the thing that really stands out in this film, especially because that's something we don't see in a lot of movies nowadays, especially superhero movies. Uh, What was it like bringing that kind of authenticity to that dynamic in this film was, did you bring any like your own personal experiences to the role of Jaime Reyes? Yeah. I mean, I definitely did. It's, it's one of those things, man, where honestly, all of the biggest moments in my life I've shared with my family, my biggest triumphs, my shit, my, my bad, bad days, like are, I'm around my family. So it felt really familiar to have a character where that was like, yeah. not a, where we, they didn't have to explain that. Right. Where it was just like, yep, there's, you know, moms is probably walking in without the door or knocking so like that's just how this guy lives his life and you know for those reasons that felt familiar to me and you know there were so many things in the script reading it for the first time that I was like wait a second my experience is universal like I, I grew up thinking like the food on the table was just dinner not that it was Mexican food on the table like like right. so getting to see getting to see all of these things that I love and I enjoyed from my youth and and the things that I love about my family in a movie intentionally whether we have to talk about it and reference it or not you know was was always the best thing for me and just the soundtrack is the thing that I go back to is like damn they just hit it I, I like it it's it is a fantastic soundtrack. Uh, you know, being a superhero is a big deal, especially in the DC universe, right? How did it feel suiting up for the first time? Suiting up was <laughs> crazy. I mean, I I did most of my fittings out in LA where mm-hmm. I'm from, and I was only doing like a grieve at a time or an arm at a time or a helmet at a time. So when we flew out to Atlanta and finally got to like the screen test day and I put the whole suit on, I was fooled. I was straight up fooled. I was like, what the heck? I'm a superhero. What the heck? I was like, I was, it was, it was really, really exciting. Um, And I just have to, it, it helped so much. I didn't think that I would shine in a position where I had to make it all up in my head. I'd never had to do that before. And I didn't think that I wanted to try that for the first time on my first movie, you know, so to have a suit that I could wear, you know, to have, you know, fights sequences that weren't all CGI was something that was really, I I was so grateful for. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm excited to see where you guys go next. Right. Cause James Gunn has come out and said that he does want to continue working with you and that this character is going to (laughs) continue. So where do you want to take Jaime? next i mean i don't know if it if we're it's too soon to do the reach the reach feels like big 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 boss yeah but that was i mean i just want to see where you know kaji and jaime's relationship goes we spent this whole movie with kaji as kind of like ai kaji because they're not synced up yet to see Mm -hmm. them down the line once they're you know that was my favorite thing watching young justice was seeing that rapport there and seeing like yo they get along sometimes they don't other times like sometimes he's feeling the mode you know yeah (laughs) so so um that's really the thing that i'm excited about but put them next to anybody. I'm, I'm here. I'm here ready to sink my teeth into whatever, you know, they throw my way. And, um, you know, more than anything, I just feel so grateful that 
uh, they we got the cosign and and you know and in whatever capacity high man his family come we're ready for it have you talked to james gunn and peter saffron yet about any potential I ha- future i haven't for the chatted with them since the movie release we chatted a bit before the movie release, but no, not anything, you know, on, on the future of DC, like they have more than enough on their plate trying to oh, handle yeah. like the start of their, of their universe. And, and I think once that goes as well as it is going to go and, and as well as it should, then we'll get to see the next steps. Right. Yeah. Makes sense to me. I can't let you go though. We were running a little bit long time without talking about Cobra Kai. Oh, snap. Yeah, Cobra we're Kai. Back, back to the dojo. Back to the dojo. One last time. One of my favorite shows. You guys are awesome. Uh, what does it feel? How does it feel to like close out this specific chapter of your career? I feel so sad, bro. I, I like I'm I I started the show when I was 16. We're going to finish and I'm going to be 23. And I'm like, wait, I still have so much so many years to keep hanging out with you guys. I, I had so much fun, you know, Cobra Kai taught me so much of what I love and know about acting and, and on camera, off camera, the people, the relationships that I made on that show are ones that I'll remember for my whole life. So um, I'm forever grateful for it. And I know it's damn not going to be the last time that we meet. We're going to, I'm sure <laughs> five years down the line, we'll do like Cobra Kai reunion or <laughs> something like some, Cobra Kai I'm for the spinoff. I'm waiting. I'm <laughs> waiting for, yeah, some, I need some spinoff. I, I would love an anime. I would love an anime spinoff, but Hey, that'd be sick. That's, that's for the, that's, we'll let the judges decide. Do you start filming Cobra Kai anytime yeah. soon? Do you have a date yet? Yes, I do. I do have a date um, and it's right around the corner. So I'm excited to get back in the gi. We already did the first episode right before the writer's strike. So we're going to hit the ground running. I know it. Oh, nice. Uh, my final question for you before we before we go. What do you know what's next? After, we know Blue Beetle is, is going to be a thing that you come back to. But you know what's next for you after Cobra Kai? Yeah, I mean... I'm filming. I'm filming it right now. My five. My first day is tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be. Uh, I mean, in in, uh, in the time coming, I'm sure it'll be announced or whatnot. But I'm getting to yeah, sink my teeth into the next thing as we speak, right now. Sounds awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Joe. It's been awesome right. chatting with you. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Okay.